Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad X360 computer. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. You have these five screws on the bottom case. After you remove those screws, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case far less than a metal one will. And you're going to go around the seam of your bottom case and pry it off from the rest of your computer. Go nice and slow. Be careful but firm. Don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just go on the edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it. Start in the other corner and go around in the other direction. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything when you're working on the computer. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. That will be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use in my shop, as well as, again, all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, the ThinkPad X390. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I always remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Your battery is right down here. It's held down by four screws and it plugs into the motherboard right here near the green arrow. Now this goes for any wire or cable in a computer. Try to avoid pulling on it as much as possible. Sometimes they can get damaged. Uh, sometimes you can even pull them right out of the plug. So if possible, just grab the plug and pull that straight down toward the battery to get it out of that port. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, as you can see, this now shows us the CMOS battery here. It's stuck down to the computer here with double-sided tape. So if you're replacing this battery, all you have to do is pop that up. It's pretty easy to get that off. And then it plugs into the motherboard. It goes down here, up, and plugs into the motherboard right there. This plug has two grips on it, so you can use your fingernails or a pry tool uh, to wiggle that out of that port right there. I will try to have a CMOS battery replacement option for you below in that link I told you about with the replacement parts and upgrade parts for this model computer. If you're here to reset BIOS, then you don't necessarily need to take that battery up. You can leave it down. All you'd have to do is unplug it from the motherboard for about 15 to 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. Now, it is important to note in this process, in most cases, that will only reset your BIOS system settings and not your BIOS password. If you would like more information on resetting the BIOS password, please check below in the description. And I guess the last thing to mention about this kind of operation, trying to reset BIOS this way is a very common troubleshooting step if your computer is not turning on. If you would like the full troubleshooting process to find out why your laptop's not turning on and how to fix it, I will have a link above also below in the description, that will be a video tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop not turning on. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside the ThinkPad X390 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.